What's going on guys, welcome back to another video by myself Alice. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a very cool sniper trick that you probably didn't know and it's how to hit your sniper shots 100% of the time. Before we get into the video I just want to say that if you've come here from Instagram or you found me over on YouTube and you do go on to enjoy this video, a subscription is greatly appreciated and also if you want to see my videos as early as possible make sure to turn on my notifications to get that notification before anyone else so you can get a competitive advantage over your opponents. Also if you do go on to enjoy make sure to like the video. Okay, so for this tip, all you need is a sniper. It could be a sniper of any type. It could be a heavy, suppressed sniper, or it could even be a semi-auto if you like those. But anyway, and when you scope in, normally you'll just notice, okay, this is crosshair, that's great. We have four lines meet. But under the bottom line, you'll see here, there's a lot of small lines and a bigger line, small line, bigger line, small line, bigger line, small line, bigger line. And basically, a lot of people don't know what this means, but let's get into what it actually means. This tip was shown to me by Paperclip, so big shout out to him, he's my friend. If you guys want to go check him out, the link will be in the description. Okay, so for the mechanics of this tip, all you want to do is two things. So you'll be scoped in and you'll be pressing the marker, whatever that marker button is for you. So when you're scoped down, you can just press it anywhere and you want to keep a very close eye on how many meters away it is. The reason why you want to keep a close eye on how many meters it is away is because it's actually a really cool thing that he found out. Each of the small lines below the crosshair add up to 150 meters so the gap between them is 150 so the first line is 150 second line is 300 meters and so on what this basically means is that if you see an opponent that's about 150 meters away and let's say that little target over there is his head you just want to move up to that first line and if you shoot you now go right into his head and it'll be a guaranteed headshot okay so for example just to show you that this does work i've got my friend over here if i mark him he's about 150 meters away just aim up at that dot It'll be a headshot every time i'm going to show you more examples of this so you can see from about 300 meters and from higher up on high ground or if you're low on low ground as well so you can see that this still works so for another example before we get into testing this from different heights i got my friend over there who's exactly 300 meters away so all i want to do is line up to that dot here and it's a headshot once again okay so now from the situation where i'm on the high ground so my opponent here is 150 meters away aim for that first line it's a headshot once again, this always works, but anyway, I'm going to show you now from the low ground. Okay, so now we flip the rolls, Mark's up there, he's 150 meters away, in for that first line. It's a headshot again. I just found out about this tip yesterday by my friend Paperclip, and it's actually going to save me a lot in situations and help me hit most of my snipes, especially when people are standing still, because I don't want to be in that embarrassing situation where people are standing still and I miss that headshot. I hope this is something new to you guys as well and that this helps you out because I've shown this to some of my pro player friends and they haven't even seen this before and it's going to help them out as well. I'm sure they're going to be hitting a lot more snipes now. Okay, so the very cool thing about this trick is that you actually have to be maybe a bit good at maths because you have to see if it's not exactly 150 or 300 meters. You have to find that compromise and go in between. So right there, that's going to be a perfect headshot. So here's me doing this a bit quicker. It's about there. Okay, now he's a bit further back. I'll mark him here. 200 meters, just about there. And it's another headshot. This is hopefully something that's going to stop you getting embarrassed from missing those easy shots. And also, it's going to help you hit those harder shots as well. So you'll be able to hit those shots 100% of the time. If you practice this, get this perfect. So 130 meters away, bang, headshot. That's about it for the first tip. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now with the second tip. This second tip revolves about you hitting straight to no scopes, especially for you trick shotters out there. For anyone trying to get into Apex as a trick shorter or anyone trying to go for a cool last kill because you're bored and you want to try and get a nice clip. This is literally the easiest thing you can do, but people still don't do it because they're caught up in the motion of being in the forward motion or the backwards motion or just spinning. You're allowed to spin with this, but you just can't go forwards, backwards, sideways, anything like that. Okay, so how to do this, you want to make sure you're pressing no keys or any movement buttons. Just look straight forward and you'll see my shot will go straight forward again. And now to show you once again, it's gone straight in the same direction. This will really help your chances at hitting trick shots. It's quite a small tip, but it's actually one that I showed to some of the trick shots in Apex and they were quite surprised about this. That was a really short second tip, so let's move on to this third tip. For this third tip, it's one that I've previously shown on my Instagram, but for everyone over on YouTube, and even if you have watched this on Instagram before, it's great to have that reminder because it's an amazing tip. Okay, so this tip is to basically use pyramids over floors when trying to connect onto something, especially if you've just been shot out of a build fight. So you'll see here with floors, if I get broken down out of this and try to connect onto the next structure, it's pretty much impossible for me to connect over there. Now if I go back up here, and instead of using floors I use pyramids, you'll see it's really easy for me to connect. 
just like that, I can go over here, I'm safe. And I can just continue to keep on cranking 90s. Okay, so now for this fourth tip. This fourth tip has previously been shown by other people, but just in case you guys haven't seen it, this tip is amazing. I was using it yesterday in Zone Wars to kill some other Apex members. They didn't realize what happened, and it was super funny. So basically, for this tip, all you want to do is, let's say you have an opponent pressuring you from the outside here. You just want to be back inside your one by one, and as soon as you see someone pressuring you, all you want to do is scroll up or whatever your trap button is, and you just want to place it over there. Now from this you can either reset to be safe or you can just box them in like this and they have no chance of escaping and even if they're under the ramp they'll get one hit off and if they still don't die you can just go like that and reset and the trap will actually go through your ramp. Okay so now with a real example I've got someone here trying to take my walls and he's, he's stuck under here he might try to break out like a normal person that's not gonna happen. You can see that I reset my ramp, went through, and there's no way he's escaping. All of those four tips there are really super helpful in game, so I hope you guys enjoyed them. So before I wrap up this video and you guys can go on and enjoy your days, I just want to say, which gun do you prefer at the moment? Because I'm preferring the blue SMG, but I want to know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer the blue drum gun or the blue suppressed SMG? Comment below. So with those four tips being said and that comment contest being done, that just about wraps up the video. So if you guys did go on to enjoy this video and you found any of these tips helpful, once again guys, I just want to remind you, make sure to subscribe and also turn those notifications on so you can get the competitive advantage of your opponents before they even know about this tip. Also, a like is greatly appreciated if you did enjoy this video. Anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.